Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, we are going to talk about, well, as the title says, we are gonna talk about, is these the right stats? And also about attack speed. Uh, I was requested to do a video on uh, attack speed, but I, met, uh, I decided to uh, put them together because I see a lot of uh, posts on Reddit, for example, where people talk about if they have the right stats and so on and so on. And I'll show you guys some pictures of some people that, you know, showed their or post some of their uh, stats up here, uh, not to show you that that's how they're going to be, but I'll just sort of show you guys some examples of it. So right off the bat, I do want to say that uh, as you play your first character or you go into your first character, uh, you're not going to be able to get the right stats at, uh, you know, right off the bat. The, the point is, uh, the way you play Trove is that you get to 10k power rank and then you go into uh, your 9, uh, you know, your 9 prime world, and then you start getting your shadow boxes, which contain also stellar gems. And therefore, after you're going to try to get the right stats in there. So um, let me show you really quickly about the gem forge. If you don't know about that one, uh, it doesn't really have anything to do. Well, it does have something to do with stats, but it's just um, if you really want optimal out of your stats, uh, you have to get, uh, you know, the right stats on it, but also you always have to start gems at, you know, uh, level one that has uh, three stats and, well, it's the big ones, three stars, and if it's the small ones, they start with three stats and two stars. That's very important or it will not be optimal in the end. So you can check if your uh, gem started with uh, two stats or three stats by going to the gym forge. That's why we're here to check uh, this one. This is an empowered one. I can see these small squares or uh, boosts or augments or whatever you're going to call them. But these little small ones right here, there's two down here. Um, if they only has two at level 15, it basically means that this one only started with two stats. So how gems works, if it has two stats, and it hit level five, it's gonna add a third stat. But if it already has three stats, it's just gonna give an extra boost to one of these already stats on it. And it's gonna do that at five, 10, and 15. So that's why we can see there's three on this one. So if I took another one and I, well, I don't have any on me right now that only has that because I only go for the other ones, but you can check it. Uh, so make sure you check your gems before wasting too much dust into them and you see you can't get enough on it so check that if you are wanting to go to maximum uh you know firepower if you can say it like that or at least uh, maximum powering so talking about stats you never want to really be looking at this except for the crit hit uh, critical damage does not matter you'd need as much critical damage as you can get so if it's 2k or it's 1500 or whatever it is you just need as much as you can so yes i have 2000 on this character but i would be more satisfied if i have 3000 it's pretty impossible to get 3000 but it's just an example right the same thing with the magic damage and a little side note here if you don't know what your character uh, is a physical damage carry or magic damage carry. You can always look at the weapon and as you can see in the top it says magic damage on this weapon or this staff, sorry. Um, you can see that this is a magic damage character. So, um, of course, this I have some physical damage because you gain some from dragons and stuff like that, but uh, magic damage uh, is of course the character and if this is also something you want as much as you can so you don't really want to look Oh, I have this much or I have this much I would also be, again be more happy if I had 400,000 magic damage than rather than I had physical damage Also a few people ask me about health and I do want to uh, say something about the health as well Because health does not matter in Trove uh, You can't you cannot go a hybrid uh, Build where you go a little bit of damage a little bit of tanky and stuff like that you can go full tank, and that is also kind of useful when you get to the very deep, deep delves for people that are really pushing. But for the general people, you just want to go full glass cannon. And by that, I mean, of course, go and putting all your damage or going all for damage in your either physical damage or magic damage. 
and getting around 100% crit. It's a very important that you get over 100% crit, but 99.9% .9 can also work, but you do want to kind of get over. I am quite much over some classes, like for example, the Gunslinger gets critical hit per level. Uh, that does not apply for the Draco that I am uh, playing right here. So I need to get it from other places. And of course that comes from the gems. It comes also from a ring. So I would love to get another ring than this, but I can. you can see if I take this out, I'm going to be under the 100%, so I'd rather be over than under, but try not to be like 17% or whatever over the uh, crit hit. That is the only thing you really have to look at this uh, sheet right here. So again, get the 100% crit hit and then get as much critical damage as you can get and magic damage or physical damage. That's all you have to be looking at. There's a lot of other stats right here. You don't have to be worrying about all of these here stats. The only stat you have to worry about else is, of course, light. If you um, are going into, you know, the deep delves or you are doing uh, geo topside, then, of course, the uh, uh, light applies. So, of course, you want as much as this as you can as well. There's no really, there's no limit to it. Well, there's a limit, there's a, there's a natural limit, of course, because there's only that much you can gain the same thing with critical damage and same thing with magic damage there's only so much you can get at this moment but they'll add probably more in the future so this is of course the light that you can uh, gain as well and you can do damage to these in here so that's ma mainly talking about uh, stats and what you should be looking at and and why i mentioned gems uh, gear also gives you quite an amazing you know stats and, and stuff like that but if you go to my power rank for example that's what people uh, tend to look at at most you can see in the bottom of this uh, little list here you can see the gems is where I get 24,000 power rank from so yes I do get something from equipment but it's only six and a half thousand from my equipment and there's of course a few from dragon something from mastery and stuff like that but gems is what carries you the most when you uh, move on so with that said i think we covered everything there is to know about stats per se and uh, maybe it helps a few people out there on reddit that ask a lot about how if their stats are good enough uh, or not but uh, don't worry again about your stats until you are 10k power rank if you are over then start going into your you know into the uh, primals as i talked about before and you of course you want to try to get all your gems to look like this where it has critical damage, crit hit, and uh, magic damage, or physical damage if you are uh, a character like that. So um, yeah, just make all your gems look like that, and then of course max them out in all the ways you can do in the Gym Forge with the uh, augmentations here of the focuses, and also of course you can change and remove the uh, you know, this one stat, of course, with the selected gem and stuff like that. So all of that you can change. So it doesn't really matter for gems. All you have to remember with gems is that they have two stars, three stats for the small ones, big ones, three stars, three stats. That's all you have to remember. Really simple, but it is not more complicated than that. So this next segment uh, is about the attack speed and uh, which classes benefit mostly from attack speed. So the only classes that really um, know, or what would you say, the, the only way, or the only classes that really benefit from uh, from um, attack speed is the Gunslinger, the Ice Age, and the Fate Trickster. All the other classes uh, benefit moderated for it. There's a few that don't, uh, especially the Dracolite, but I'm going to go through all of them one by one and kind of explain why they don't need attack speed. And you just want to focus... Uh, focus mostly on this here, but Gunslinger, Ice Age, Fate Trickster is the only ones that need attack speed. So but out of the way, let's start with the Vanguardian. Vanguardian is a moderated one or a middle one. It can benefit depending on how you're going to play the Vanguardian. If you want to go melee or you want to go ranged, uh, attack speed is also fairly good, but um, it is not something you would go 100% after. These are again the class, the three classes, Gunslinger, Ice Age, Fate Tricks, so you want to go 100% on. Dino Chamber also lo loves uh, attack speed, but not as much, I would say, as the other ones. Uh, you would go moderated for it, uh, but attack speed is quite um, uh, great as well for it. Uh, maybe in the high end of uh, attack speed, I would say, uh, wanting it. Chloromancer also moderated like it is as well. 
uh, Luna Lancer normally don't go for a lot of attack speed is, is is a nice extra benefit, but you would never go anything again. It's because Luna Lancer uses its number one ability to kind of swipe and uh, defeat enemies in a uh, one shot. Next thing is the uh, Revenant. Revenant also benefits okay from uh, from attack speed and not not as much as uh, the other ones here but it is also quite a decent to do so so again a moderated thing is great tomb razor doesn't benefit very much from attack speed if it does at all i'm not actually sure but i am not a big tomb racer main but i would assume that attack speed can work uh, for this class here Next is the Boomeranger. Uh, attack speed is also kind of great. It does have a third ability, or not a third ability, but third strike does extra damage. So the faster you get to that, of course, you are going to gain uh, some more damage out of that. But um, it's again moderated. You don't want to lose out on some other stats. Uh, one of the classes that do not benefit at all from attack speed is the Dracolite. The Dracolite does not benefit, or have no funk. It doesn't shoot its uh i don't know a <laughs> flame it's now it's a, actually a pinata but it has no benefits to adding uh attack speed to this class at all a uh, gunslinger we mentioned near ninja can be quite okay with a uh, attack speed but it's more all about movement speed that's what near ninja is about so attack speed is quite uh on the it's it, it's nice you can get up your shurikens faster and stuff like that but you wouldn't go all out on attack speed the same thing with the candy bar, not a lot of uh, attack speed there either. Uh, it does have, a, you know, it's a, sw a swing ability, but that's cost you energy. So you probably want to go for some more energy regen than especially attack speed. But it just feels better when you swing your uh, abilities or swing your attacks uh, that you do have some attack speed. It's more of a quality of life thing. It's the same with the uh, uh, Lunar Lancer. So these three is more of, a, I would say, a quality of life kind of thing where it's just... Uh, more uh, flows better to just you know destroy chests or hit an enemy or something like that or just yeah destroy thing uh, different things uh fate trickster is here of course uh, we talked about that before shadow hunter is uh loves attack speed but uh when you get the shadow hunters class gem attack speed does not work for the shadow hunter anymore it actually basically gets uh, well, you can still get attack speed, but it, you won't shoot any faster. So basically, with the class gym, uh, Shadowhunter gets a max attack speed there is, and then after that, you you can add more attack speed, but it, but it won't shoot any faster. So don't get attack speed at all on the on the Shadowhunter. I love that with the Shadowhunter. That's why I go more uh, magic find on that one actually, because it doesn't benefit uh, as soon as you get the class gym with attack speed. But before that, it can be nice to have some attack speed does make it a little bit more tolerable to level but as soon as you hit 5000 power rank and you can get your class gem you should you should definitely uh, do that as well ice age is uh, as we talked about uh, likes to likes the attack speed the next thing is the pirate captain this is a moderated guy as well it the faster you do shoot and you get your doubloons the faster your turrets are going to uh you know can become bigger but you don't want to go all, all out on the it but it's it's more of like what we talked about the dino tamer it's more of in the high tier or the high uh i don't know high bracket of uh attack speed users <laughs> so it's so more of that but not something you actually had to uh, crazy go for then we have the knight the knight it does also kind of like uh, i should probably have mentioned it with the other three here now that i think about it uh, because this is also kind of like a quality of life thing because usually you get your class gym and then you use your number one ability like uh, the Loon Lancer would and then you would destroy your enemies by a one shot uh, if you have enough stats of course um, and whatever you are uh, fighting but yes these are the um, these are basically the uh, what's it called uh, three that just needed for the more of the quality of life uh, because they have abilities that you know defeat enemies the way they are meant to do i guess i guess the vanguardian is kind of like the same way but uh, not completely though because it does have a third attack as well like the boomeranger a boomeranger has so they are kind of like similar so the fat more attack speed you have the faster you're going to get to that but you don't really want to go out all out on the attack speed like you would on the other three here that i mentioned here so i think a small explanation uh, I, I hope uh, i hope it didn't take too long with the uh 
talking about the attack speed but this was this was a request and i also kind of want to mention it for the stats thing mostly uh so if you just watch that part that was that was awesome but uh just to try to help some people with their stats and know where they have to go from here and instead of keep asking on reddit of course keep asking on reddit if you want to do so but i hope to provide some information for you guys out there so a little bit more maybe of a boring video than the one of the exciting ones that i used to do but there was a lot of talking about just attack speed i'm sorry so but it was information that was requested and now there's some people that might have some answers out there i really hope so but if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe it helps me out very much and is super much appreciated and i will catch you in the next one bye